We make way for Brandel Chambly, one of the stars of the Golf Channel, and their coverage of the U.S. Open. How would you recap yesterday if somebody didn't see the highlights, Brandel? Uh, atypical for the PGA Tour, which is uh, what a U.S. Open should be. Uh, it was it was beautiful from a fan perspective, but having participated as a player, I can tell you it's no fun at all. How many events do you think should be like this a year? It, it feels like we have one that's pretty much guaranteed, although last year's <laughs> U.S. Open was not. But we're, we're okay once a year where we see these guys maybe break par, or, you know. I, I, I'd say two or three times a year, you know, the major championships. Augusta is what it is. It's a lot of fun, you know. You get to slay the dragon when you're, you know, watching Augusta. You get to ever see everybody, you know, make these uh, these great, bold plays. But the U.S. Open should be about control. The Open Championship should be about control. And uh, the PGA Championship, because it's played in such hot weather, is typically a little softer. But it, two or three times a year, I think, uh, is reasonable. Explain to the casual fan why this is so difficult, this course. Well, this particular golf course, the greens are almost all elevated, right? So it, if, if the casual fan's not familiar with Pinehurst, all the greens are not only elevated, but they roll off on the front and on the sides and on the back. So whatever the, the real space of the green is, effectively, it's, it's like a third the size. Okay, so imagine taking those greens, putting them in a place where it's much, much firmer and much, much windier. So that's what this place is, the hardest greens to hit in very firm conditions in a very windy area. Lynx golf, typically, you have really big greens. Anybody who's familiar with Lynx golf can, can probably recall how big the greens are at St. Andrews. Well, here they're, you know, a, a 50th of the size, oh, man. and they're in a spot where it blows. So you know, I, I joked last night, I said they're harder to hit than a Mariano Rivera cut fastball, and that's basically what they are. Who surprised you the most, most with how badly they played yesterday? Rory, Rory McIlroy. I mean, the whole group, that, that threesome of Jordan Spieth, Rory, and Phil Mickelson, you know, you could look at it and say they shot 25 over par, but I don't think anybody thought Spieth was going to contend as poorly as he's putting. I don't think anybody thought Phil Mickelson was going to contend as poorly as he was driving the ball, although well, he, he drove it okay yesterday. But Rory, you know, he was a lot of people's favorite. I picked him as my favorite. He had been out here. Uh, in the Hamptons for a week. He had played, you know, pretty darn solid at BMW. Everybody had said that they'd watched him play, and he was just, you know, it was mind-boggling. Absolutely. Never seen anything like it, the people that were playing practice rounds with him. And he shot 80. And you look at his last five rounds now in the U.S. Open, and they're 78, 77, 80, 71, 71. So um, it's pretty darn surprising to see him play so poorly yesterday.